The first trick I would like to show is the semicolon trick. This can be used to create multiple children underneath a parent uh, in one uh, action. So let's drag down to create a new child and what we'll do is enter three uh, new names and separate them with a semicolon. Jane Doe, John Doe, and let's see, John Smith. Hit enter and it will automatically create new, three new children underneath that parent. Next I would like to show you the uh, comma tip. This is useful for when there are terms that you're going to use over and over again in your brain. You could imagine trying to search on a common term and it could get extremely confusing trying to remember which one it's associated with. Uh, a very easy way around that problem is to simply uh, precede the uh, the name of your child entry with a comma and that will prepend the parent in front of that when you're searching. So let me give you an example. I will pull down to create the children here and I'm gonna do a comma then Twitter a semicolon and then a comma LinkedIn semicolon comma and I'm gonna add a new one plurk. Um, so we're going to kind of really combine those two tips, the uh, semicolon to create multiple entries and then the comma to associate those three with John Smith because everybody else in my uh, black book may have those same entries and I'll show you uh, how this is going to work. So we'll hit enter there and we added um, those underneath John Smith and you can see when it's highlighted it puts John Smith in front of it over here you do not see them and I'll click on LinkedIn and when it pulls that one up you see John Smith in front of that one as well so let's go to the other names so we'll go to Jane Doe and we're gonna add those same ones and in this case I'm just doing a copy paste so if you're gonna have a like sort of a template of things that you're gonna use over and over again uh, when you're starting out you might want to uh, do that so I'm gonna paste in those again and again we now see Jane Doe's name in front of the one that's selected and I'm going to go back up to John and do the same thing. Pull that down, put in my three entries, and now let me show you how this is going to work. I'm going to go down to the search bar here and say I just started typing Twitter. It automatically brings up um, the Twitter with the names in front of it so I can get to the right one. If I didn't use that little uh, trick, I would just see a bunch of Twitters here and obviously that's not going to be very uh, helpful. So hopefully you can see how putting a comma in front of commonly used terms will associate that with the parent and make your life a lot easier. And the third tip I want to show you is uh, basically just dragging and dropping a website directly into the brain from your browser. You don't have to create a child first. Uh, so for example, we have uh, Leo Laporte uh, in my black book and I want to add his uh, Twitter page and Plurk page. So. Uh, you know, hop over to my brow browser and I'm at Leo's Plurk page. I can just grab the fave icon, drop it onto the window there, come underneath Leo's name, let go, and we've got Leo's Plurk line. I can go ahead and edit that if I want to. And I'm going to head back over to my browser, uh, go to the Twit Live page, and do the same thing. Grab the fave icon, switch over, and just let go and now I have uh, the Twit Live link. And uh, it's as simple as that. I can, like I said, I can go ahead and uh, F2 to edit that if I don't like that name or just leave it as it is.